Hi, I'm Terry and I'm an instructor here at Trade Skills for You. And today I'm going to show you how we use this unvented hot water demonstration rig to show various faults to trainees that are on our unvented hot water course. Okay, so the first thing I need to point out here on this demonstration rig that we have three uh, valves, two pressure gauges and a temperature gauge that you would not normally see on an unvented uh, on a domestic unvented installation. They're, they're purely there for me to demonstrate the various, uh, the various faults. So some of the components that we've got here, we've got the pressure limiting valve, which is reducing the incoming rains pressure down to the design limit of the system. We've got the expansion vessel here, and we've got the expansion valve here, and we've got the temperature and pressure relief valve there. We've also got two tun dishes, one here, and one here on the other side of the vessel. So the first fault that I'm gonna demonstrate for you here uh, is an expansion fault. So what I'll do is I'll shut off the pressure limiting valve here, and then if I open this bypass up, this will simulate the uh, pressure limiting valve not working, maybe being caused by uh, dirt on the seating, and the pressure starts to climb up straight away, and you see over here, the expansion valve has opened and starts discharging water. So the next fault that I'm going to show you is an, again an expansion, uh, an expansion fault. This time I'm going to close off this valve here, which effectively takes that expansion vessel out of the system. And what will happen, the pressure will start to creep up again, and then it will be demonstrated by we'll see um, some water start dripping from this tun dish here. This takes a, a few moments as it actually builds up temperature, but you'll see the temperature gauge start to climb and the water discharge from there. What I want to show you is again expansion, but this time it's failure of the actual expansion relief uh, itself. And if I shut that valve off, now we effectively have no expansion relief at all. We've already taken the expansion vessel out as well. So now we will expect to see the pressure will start to creep up again. And when, it, when the pressure reaches seven bar, we will see that the expansion uh, also opens up on here. This is the temperature and pressure relief valve, but this time it will open on expansion at seven bar and we'll see it start to drip from, there we go, from the tun dish here. Now this is, this is still a pressure fault. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna show you um, is our last line of defense, if you like. If I bypass the thermostat here, then the temperature will continue to rise. Remember, we've got no uh, expansion relief here at all. We've got no expansion vessel. We've taken those both out of the system. The temperature now uh, will start to rise. We've got no, um, no pressure relief at all on these because we've taken these out. So what will happen is the temperature, when it reaches uh, approximately 90, 90 to 95 degrees C, I think on our rig here, it's about 90 degrees C, you will see that the temperature and pressure relief valve now opens up, but this time on temperature, and will start to discharge full bore, enabling cold water to come rushing in to cool the system down to maintain a safe condition. Here at Trade Skills for You, we offer a full range of renewables and water qualifications. For more information, please visit us on our website.